Health workers across government-owned institutions have declared an indefinite strike from Thursday. This is coming days after the Nigerian Association of Resident Doctors suspended a warning strike over welfare issues. TVC News senior correspondent Chokia Adisa reports. At an expanded National Executive Council meeting, Joesu and APA on the 8th of May issued an ultimatum to the government over some unmet demands. The deadline given to the authorities to resolve all pending issues has now expired and the union say they are left with no choice than to embark on an indefinite nationwide strike. Since the federal government is here to meet these demands, our members have directed by the U.S. National Executive Council that we should proceed on indefinite strike action upon the expiration of the ultimatum by midnight of 25th May 2023. I am based in Lagos and I can tell you the Tinubu antecedent has brought some level of progress, growth and development in Lagos. But if President Tinubu does not want to fail like President Buhari, who failed in the health sector, woefully, he has to be extremely careful about the appointment he makes in the health sector. Joesu and the Assembly of Healthcare Professionals accused the authorities of bias and non challenge to matters concerning their members. Improved conditions of service, payment of with earned salaries of Joesu members, and adjustment in retirement age from 60 to 65 years are some of their demands. Unconditional payment of all with health salaries of Federal Medical Center Oweri, Jute University Chief Hospital, Lut and uh, the April and May 2018 salaries of members of Norfolk Azari that we are withheld. The most important thing there is that let there be better condition of service for health professionals. And if there is going to be an increase in any salary, it should cut across all board. You should not single a particular group of professionals and start increasing their salary and then leaving the other people. It will just bring about anarchy into the system. The health workers insist government's threat of no pay, no work policy cannot deter them from standing for their rights.